Hello and welcome back to the other 167. I am Joshua and I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we will be learning about two great men in the Bible who are the greatest examples of humility. So let's tune in and listen to John K. John as he comes to share God's word with us. Hi, welcome to another edition of The Other 167. This is John Kijan from Navi Mumbai. Today I want to just spend some time uh, reflecting about something called humility. Humility. And I want to ask you a question. Who do you think was the most humble man on God's earth at one point of time? I'm sure you know the answer. The answer is found in the book of Numbers. <clears throat> and if you really look at Numbers in chapter 12 and verse number 3, there's an incident there between uh, two brothers and a sister of the same family. Apparently, the, the older brother and the sister looked down upon their brother and uh, made a, a comment that even irked the Lord of Heaven. And Numbers 12.3 says this, Now the man Moses was very humble, more than any man who was on the face of the earth. Can you imagine that? Can you just imagine what God did through this one man? How God used this one man to do such fabulous, fabulous uh, miracles. Use this man to turn water into blood all those miracles that we read and the 10 different plagues that came across the people of Egypt, how God used this man even to part the Red Sea and then to get a, to get a comment from God himself. Now the man Moses was very humble more than any other man who was on the face of the earth. It's just fabulous. The question that we need to ask ourselves is, are we humble? Or do we boast in ourselves? Do we like to pride in who we are and what we do? You know, chances are the answer is yes. But if I kept um, reading the Word of God and kept looking into the New Testament, I see another person who was even more humble than Moses. And I want to just pick up a few incidents of this person's life, how despite who he was, despite his credentials, he still remained humble. If you really look at um, Matthew chapter 8 um, and you look at uh, a particular uh, passage of scripture there, you see how Jesus heals a leper. The leper comes to Jesus and says, would it be possible for you to touch me and heal me? And Jesus heals the leper. And the next thing that you hear Jesus tell him is, see that you tell no one. See that you tell no one. Can you imagine that? You know, leprosy, whether it was those days or even today is, is something that you and I would never want to pray even for our enemies to have. And God and Jesus heals this man of his leprosy and then he tells the man, tell nobody about it. Take another case. In Mark chapter 7 and verse 36, we see how uh, they bring a deaf and a dumb man to Jesus. And Jesus speaks that word and heals the deaf and the dumb man. And there again we read Jesus looking at the person and saying, do not tell anyone about this. Do not tell anyone about this. But I think the clincher, I think the one that just got me reflecting of this humility in Jesus is Luke chapter 9 and verse 21. Where the disciples are sent to by two, they actually come back and they report to Jesus. And then Jesus looks at them and says, who do you think people say that I am? So they respond to him saying, some say that you're Elias, some say that you're Jeremiah, some say that you're one of the old prophets. And then he looks at Peter and says, but Peter, who do you think I am? And Peter looks at Jesus and says, you are the Christ, the son of the blessed Lord. 
And soon after that, Jesus tells them and warns them not to tell anybody about this. Not to tell this to anyone. What? That he is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed Lord. Why would you want to tell that? I mean, if there was Facebook and social media and, and Twitter and all of those stuff, then it would have gone viral. But Jesus is looking at Peter and saying, and everybody else in the disciple uh, lot, he's saying, don't tell anybody. And I was just taken aback. Here is a man who had all the credentials to himself, left all of heavenly glory to be born as a, as a man, to be humble to the point of death, even death of the cross. And we know that he even died naked. But humble, humble. Can we be humble? Can we be humble? Can we be humble people? Because the Bible says God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And I just pray that each of us uh, will not boast in ourselves, but we'll boast in God and he'll boast in Jesus and say, I am what I am because of Jesus. I have this talent in me because of Jesus. All glory would go back to God. All glory would go back to him who gave us uh, this in the first place. We will not glory in ourselves. We will be humble people. And when we are humble, he will lift us up in due time. God bless you. And uh, let's stay humble and give God all the glory and the honor and the praise. To Him be the glory. Amen. I hope you were blessed by today's word. I would like to leave you with a small thought. The same God who said that Moses is the most humble man on the face of the earth is the same God who came down and set an even greater example for us. On that note, please feel free to share our videos with all your friends and family. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and most importantly, hit that bell icon. Do follow us on our Facebook page, Instagram account and if needed, do write to us on the email ID that will be shown on the screen. God bless you and have a great week.